So my last video got cut off toward the end. We're at the very, very end of the 11th chapter of Wise Child. Wise Child's mother, who I suspect is not really her mom. I think uh, Juniper is probably Wise Child's real mother at this point. Although I did not get that at all the first time I read the book. Um, leave your guesses below. But the woman who Wise Child believes to be her mother has tried to seduce Wise Child away from Juniper, and it sort of worked. She gave her a stone, everything in the house looked crazy, Juniper had to give Wise Child a potion so that things looked normal again, although Wise Child did not tell Juniper, or did not get the chance to tell Juniper about the stone that her mother gave her. So, Wise Child has been telling Juniper about what her supposed mother Maeve has said to her, and we'll pick up there. She has a house that's only a day's journey away, you know. She offered me clothes and jewels and ponies and dolls and sweets and not having to do any boring things and live with her. To go and live with her. She would make me into a beautiful lady whom young men adore. Tempting, said Juniper, with just the finest edge of scorn in her voice. I am her little girl. This time Juniper did not answer. She sat still and silent in the way that was her particular gift. Coleman saved me from her. He stood on the edge of the field by the gate and watched. Otherwise, I might have gone with her then and there. There was another silence. I think I'll go to bed now, I said. I picked up the bearskin and moved toward the stairs, waiting for Juniper to say good night. But she did not do so. I was very tired and wanted only to climb into my nest. As I took off my blue dress, I felt a weight in, my, in the pocket. And slipping in, in my hand, I drew out the shining stone. It was extraordinary. It was milky, but it had darts of orange fire in it. It was green and blue and lilac all at once. But each time you moved it only a little, there was a spurt of flame that reminded me of Maeve's flaming hair. I knew that if I showed Juniper, she would take it from me. And it was so pretty that I did not intend to give it up. I glanced around for a hiding place and remembered that beneath my bed I had a treasure box in which I had already hidden notes, beads, and a bird's egg. The fiery stone soon joined them. And that's the end of chapter 11.